How you going, Australia? Big Mike is back with another taste testing reaction for snacks from Australia. So today we have definitely got a variety. We have three savory snacks and three sweet snacks. Lollies, of course, I'm talking about. And these all come courtesy of the great Youngie. So let's get right into it and let's try our very first thing right now. So the first thing we have is these. It's called La Snack from Uncle Toby. These are what look like little snack crackers with cheesy Vegemite. So let's give this a little opening here. Okay, as you guys can see, there are six individual little packs of these. There we go. They're uh, packaged quite well, I might add. I wonder if there's like a little scoop or a knife or something that it comes with. Huh. Not one that I can see. Hmm. Give me one quick moment. I'm gonna go fetch a knife. Aha! Now, let's get this open. We've got three crackers with cheesy Vegemite. Now, I did enjoy cheesy mite. Oh, this is very cute. It almost looks like caramel. Let's get one of these. Get some cheesy mite. Get this on here really good. Because I know this is going to taste great because I absolutely love veggie mite. Cheesy mite's not bad either, but regardless, let's give this a try. This is my first time trying Uncle Toby's La Snack Cracker with cheesy mite. Here we go. Mm hmm Perfectly simple. The cheesy mite that comes in this just tastes a little bit different than the kind that comes in that glass jar that I got. It's not bad though. Let's uh have another one. These crackers are pretty good though. They remind me of a uh, snack cracker that we have here called Cars. That's C A double R S. Let's see another one here. Hmm. These Uncle Toby crackers, pretty solid. It's not bad. And I like the fact that they give you just enough cheesy mite for all three crackers. They don't really skimp, which is really good. Now I'm assuming, given the shape that this is in, you could probably dunk and spread. But me, I just want to spread. Here we go. Here's the last one. These, right here, pretty solid. I do recommend these, especially if you like Cheesy Mite. Next up, we have something a little bit on the sweet side, and that is these right here. Grand's Caramel Fudge Bites. Now, I do love caramel, and these say that these are the traditional recipe made in Australia. And it says right here on the back of the bag, for over 30 years, Grands have specialized in crafting quality fudge and confectionery, including our delicious peanut brittle and coconut ice. Coconut ice, that sounds cool. Our luxury fudge and sweet treat recipes are blended with the goodness of quality ingredients, a hint of nostalgia and lashings of flavor to deliver the perfect treat for your whole family. Proudly Australian, made with Grands love. Well, Let's see what Grand's Love is all about. Get you open. Okay, I'm apparently weak. There we go. Let's see what these look like. Ooh. Ooh, look at those. Oh, it smells good. They're nice and squishy. Let's give this a whirl. This is Grand's Caramel Fudge Bites. Here we go.
Mm. One more for the road. Oh my God. <clears throat> Made with love. You guys ain't kidding. Wow. Look at that. Delicious. It's very smooth. And most like all of your lollies in Australia, it's not too sweet. It's just right. You guys have cracked the code on soft caramel fudge. These, excellent. And now it is time for what I like to call twice as nice. So, I told you we would get back to savory, so here we go. We have Shapes Fully Loaded Meat Lovers and Shapes Fully Loaded Fried Chicken. I know, or excuse me, Flame Grilled Chicken. I know these well enough by now that these are gonna taste sensational. Now, even though I haven't tried either one of these, I have a feeling right now, chicken one's gonna be the better of the two. So let's see who wins this competition. Let's go ahead and open Fully Loaded Sizzling Meat Lovers. Get the bag out. Ooh, the smell really hits you. Oh my God. Look at these. They're so uniquely shaped. <laughs> and it smells, wow, it almost smells like beef jerky. Let's give it a try. This is Shapes Fully Loaded Meat Lovers. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Really? It almost tastes like one of those long pepperoni salami type um, beef jerky rolls, if you will. God, that's good. Mm -mm. Arnest doesn't lie when they say there's no substitute for quality. Because these are terrific. Now, let's give the Flaming Grilled Chicken a try. Let's open you up. Ooh, the smell of fried chicken, nice and strong. Also similarly shaped. Let's see how they compare to the meat lovers. Hmm. Okay. It's actually pretty tangy. It does kind of taste like flame grilled chicken. Hmm. I gotta confess, I like them both. Hmm. Hmm. Now let's ultimately determine which is the better of the two, because these are, this is gonna be tough because they're both really good. Here's the meat lovers once again. Mm. Here's some more full size piece. Also good. Well, to my surprise, gun to the head, gonna have to go with the meat lovers. These are terrific. They're both just as good as one of each other. But to my delight, I'm gonna have to say meat lovers is definitely the way to go. But either way, both of these, fabulous. And now let's get back to the sweet. Now that I've had those chips that are a bit spicy, I need something to freshen my breath a little bit as well as give me some sweetness, and that's these. These delicious Cadbury Dairy Milk Peppermint Bites. Now it looks like it's kind of a creamy mint center, 
And I will confess, I am nervous to try these because I know I'm going to love them. Because as you guys know, I love that peppermint crisp to death. So this being made by Cadbury's, it's going to be great. It says right here, dairy milk chocolate bites with smooth flowing peppermint flavored center. I got no argument with that. Let's see what these are all about. Oh, they're cute. Look at how they're shaped. Let's give it a go. This is Dairy Milk's Peppermint. Mmm. Mmm. Peppermint cream in the middle is so good. Oh, boy. Mmm. chocolate and that that not, not caramel I had the caramel earlier forgive me that peppermint sorry this has got me discombobulated it's so good mm. Mm. terrific it's the perfect combination of mint cream in the middle the chocolate is just strong enough. This is like, <clears throat> this is like a Junior Mints on steroids. If you like Junior Mints, you like good quality chocolate, and you love mint, this is gonna be your new best friend. Definitely pick these up. Mm. And in the words of boys to men, we have come to the end of the road. So what is the final thing I'm gonna be trying? Something sweet as well, because I always like to finish sweet. Now that I have had those amazing things, such as the caramel bites, the peppermint bites, and those Arnott's shapes, you know we got to finish up the proper way. And speaking of Arnott's, let's try these. Gaities. Now, you guys know how much I love Arnott's biscuits. And looking at these... These are going to be no slouch. I can just tell. These are layers of crisp wafer and chocolate hazelnut flavored cream covered in Arnott's real chocolate, all capitals, made with the finest cocoa ingredients and natural milk products because everyone deserves the happiness a real chocolate treat can bring. Amen to that, Arnott's. Amen to that. Let's open this up with that. Trademark, easy open packaging that only artists is famous for. Nice and easy. And as always, you lot get the first reveal. Here we go. Would you look at these little beauties? Look at those, they're so cute. Oh. <clears throat> Let's give it a whirl. This is my very first time trying Arnott's Gaty. Here we go. Magnificent. Mm. Magnificent. Perfect balance of chocolate, hazelnut. I mean, even my fingers. Because it's real chocolate. Real quality. Good stuff. Arnott's, you guys can do no wrong, I swear it. This is like the perfect substitute to a Tim Tam if they've run out. Mm. So smooth, but not too sweet. Again, you lot in Australia, you all know how to balance. These. I'm gonna put these away before I eat them all. But if you like chocolate, you like hazelnut, you like wafers, get yourself a gaty. That wraps up completely this taste testing for this reaction. I hope that you guys enjoyed observing these delicious sweet 
as well as savory snacks that you guys offer from Australia. Thank you again, Youngie, for that bounty. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate everybody else who has been so kind to take their time to go to the shops, pick things out, package them, and spend their hard-earned money to mail them to me. It is an absolute blessing that you guys have even thought or considered to do any of this for me. And that goes for all of you, starting right back to Dr. Cap, and then followed through with Licky, Oskizo, and as if I could ever forget you, Yummy. You guys are all such amazing people, and you guys have such amazing snacks and drinks as well. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds going forward. But don't think all these snacks are gone. While this was the last of the snack batch that I got from Yungi, I still do have other reactions that I will be providing for you guys a little later with some of the things I was sent. Don't forget, I still have the airplane jelly reaction I have to do for you guys, as well as the 40% less salt Vegemite and the big video where I pit all of the yeast spreads together and see excuse me, and see who really comes out on top and then rank them all left to right. So look forward to that as well. And thank you guys so much again for participating with my channel. I appreciate you all more than you'll ever know. You guys take care, be well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uru.